For more free African history resources, please go directly to our website or click the links below. The Battle of Zalaka, the Battle of Sagrajas. By 640 AD, Islam had spread into Northern Africa and many Africans had converted to the new religion. The Africans of North and Northwestern Africa were also known collectively as the Moors, and this term was used by Europeans to describe the Africans of Northern Africa, Northern Mali, Northern Niger, Berber Africans, and also some Arab immigrants who were a unified group together under the religion of Islam at the time. By 711 AD, these Africans had conquered the entire region of southern Spain, also known as Al-Andalus, expanding their empire into Europe. By 1031 AD, Al-Andalus was broken up into a number of states known as Taifas. These Taifas were independent states, controlled by the Muslim Africans and the Arabs. The Taifa courts were renowned centres of cultural excellence in which poets, scientists and other scholars were able to thrive. By 1040 AD, the Almoravid dynasty had been established. The Almoravids were an African Berber dynasty from North and Northwestern Africa and were located in the region known as Maghreb. By 1052 AD, the Almoravid military force had grown to over 30,000 men. Now, King Castellan Alfonso VI was the son of Ferdinand I, who was the King of Leon and Count of Castile and his wife, Queen Sancha. They ruled some parts of Spain and were part of the Spanish aristocratic class. King Castellan Alfonso VI first ruled the Kingdom of Leon, which was an independent kingdom situated in the northwest region of Spain, also known as the Iberian Peninsula, from 1065 AD. He also came to rule both the Kingdom of Galicia and the Kingdom of Castile also in Spain. The majority of the rest of Spain at this time was ruled by the Moors. By 1074 AD, King Castellan Alfonso VI attacked the Taifa of Granada in southern Spain, which was ruled by the Moors. From the Tagus River, which is the longest river in Spain, he launched attacks against the Taifas of Seville, Cordoba and Badajoz. King Castellan Alfonso VI exacted pariahs, which were heavy financial tributes Thus, by depriving them of their wealth, he hoped to weaken them so that they would eventually cede their independence without fighting. As a result of his exactions, Christian Spain was flooded with Muslim gold, which was spent on warfare and donations to shrines, churches and monasteries. By 1082 AD, the European Christians of Spain had begun to launch so many attacks against the African and Arab Muslims living inside Spain that many of them began to flee back into Africa. al mutamid Muhammad ibn Abad, also known as Abad III, was the ruler of the Taifa of Seville in southern Spain. He reached out to the Africans for help and contacted the Almoravid dynasty. Upon request from the Moors of Spain, the Almoravids decided to intervene and raised an army in Africa to lead an attack against the Christians of Spain within their own country. At the time, Yusuf ibn Tashfin was the ruler of the Almoravid dynasty. Yusuf ibn Tashfin was an African from the Sanhaja tribe, which was one of the largest at the time in northern Africa. The Sanhaja tribe were mostly located in modern-day Morocco, northern Niger and Algeria. The Almoravids travelled from northern Africa in July and a few months later were ready to confront the Europeans on Spanish soil. Yusuf ibn Tashfin is recorded to have stated the following upon his arrival. I am the first to be entrusted to come to the assistance of this faith, and none other than I myself will take charge of the matter. There are various accounts of the battle, including some from the North African historian Abd al-Wahid al-Marakushi, who was born in the city of Marrakesh in Morocco. The Battle of Zalaka Yusuf ibn Tashfin summoned all the leaders and commanders of the army and the chiefs of the African tribes whom he could call upon to fight. He gathered about 7,000 horsemen, with a large number of infantry assembled and he crossed the sea with a vast army. 
At this time, King Castellan Alfonso VI was in the process of attacking some Muslim castles, but once he heard the Almoravids had arrived, he abandoned his aggressions and prepared for war. The Muslim rulers of Al-Andalus reinforced Yusuf Ibn Tashbin with as many horses, men and arms as they could. The total strength of the Muslims, including volunteers and mercenaries, was about 20,000 men. And so, the two forces faced each other at the Battle of Zalaka on the 23rd of October, 1086 AD. The Battle of Zalaka took place in a region called Badajoz, which was in southwestern Spain. The battleground as Zalaka in English means slippery ground. The Battle of Zalaka is also known as the Battle of Sagrejas. The Almoravid army consisted of a majority of Africans and some Arabs. The African fighters within the army were armed with towers. Towers were long curved swords originally developed in India. Alfonso VI of Castile arrived at the battle with an army of thousands of men, including 750 knights, some of whom were Jewish, and 1,500 cavalry. It was at this point that Yusuf Ibn Tashfin offered three options to the Spanish. They could agree to peace and pay an annual tax called the Jizya, or they could join the Africans and Arabs in the religion of Islam, or they could engage in war. Alfonso VI of Castile decided on the third option. The two opposing forces met early in the week and were unable to agree on a day for the general advance. The Spanish army led by Alfonso stated the following, Friday is your holy day. Saturday is for the Jews. They are our ministers and scribes and make up the majority of the servants in the army and we cannot do without them. Sunday is our Christian holy day. Therefore, Monday would be the best day to begin operations. The two sides agreed. On the Friday, the Muslims were preparing for the Friday prayers with no sign of preparation for a battle. Yusuf I bin Tashfin operated on the belief that kings do not act treacherously. Yusuf and his men began to pray, and when they had performed the first raka, the Christian cavalry burst into them, launching a full-scale attack. The Almoravids grabbed their weapons and mounted their horses and the two sides became embroiled in battle. After much fighting back and forth, the Spanish army was completely defeated and half of its army was killed by the Almoravids. The Muslims were victorious. After the Spanish fled, the Almoravids established a court in the area named Seville in the south of Spain. Due to the majority of the Almoravid army being very dark Africans, the depictions of the conquest were often drawn with very dark Africans on horseback, and this included drawings of Yusuf Ibn Tashfin himself. The Moors ruled Spain for a total of 800 years. The Taifas were eventually incorporated by the Almoravid dynasty. Later, the Almohad dynasty would do the same. This victory not only brought a halt to the Christian advances on Muslim lands, but also led to the establishment of the Almoravid Empire within Spain. Alif Lam Mim Tilka ayatul kitab al-hakim Hudan wa rahmatan lil muhsinin الذين يقيمون الصلاة ويؤتون الزكاة وهم بالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون ومن الناس من يشتري له الحديث ليضل عن سبيل الله بغير علم بغير علم ويتخذها هزوا أولئك لهم عذاب مهين وإذا تتلى عليه آياتنا وإذا تتلى عليه آياتنا ولا مستكبرا كأن لم يسمعها كأن في أذنيه وقرا فبشره بعذاب أليم إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات لهم جنات النعيم 
خالدين فيها وعد الله حقا وهو العزيز الحكيم خلق السماوات بغير عمد ترونها وألقى في الأرض رواسي أن تميد بكم وبث فيها من كل دابة وأنزلنا من السماء ماء فأنبتنا فأنبتنا فيها من كل زوج كريم هذا خلق الله هذا خلق الله فأروني ماذا خلق الذين من دونه هذا خلق الله فأروني ماذا خلق الذين من دونه بل الظالمون في ضلال مبين ولقد آتينا لقمان الحكمة أن اشكر لله ومن يشكر فإنما يشكر لنفسه ومن يشكر فإنما يشكر لنفسه ومن كفر فإن الله غني حميد وإذ قال لقمان لابنه وهو يعظه يا بني لا تشرك بالله إن الشرك لظلم عظيم ووصينا الإنسان بوالديه 